All right, the night before going to Qatar, decided to come over and get some good American food, but I'm ready for Qatar. Just enjoyed a burger. Now I got a new microphone. Hopefully this one will be much better than the other one I've tested out recently. Basically all packed and ready to go. I'm excited for this World Cup adventure. Also seems kind of unreal. Like I said before, it's November, so it doesn't feel like it's the World Cup. But like I said, I think I'll be getting more excited um, when I'm at the airport and all that good stuff. So anyways, I definitely had something planned for a few days to show you. So I'm going to start off first by showing you a picture, an official press photo that I was super fortunate to find out about from a friend of mine. This picture was taken during the Iran-Spain game at the 2018 World Cup in Kazan. Now, of course, I was super excited when I found out about this picture. And you could see in the picture the flag I'm holding. Um, it has actually some autographs, signatures, whatever you want to call it. And this flag has a pretty cool history. And I want to just, and I want to go back and share uh, some awesome moments involving this flag. Starting first, 2014 in Austria. I went to the match between Iran and Montenegro. The game was played in a small town called Hartberg. And in all honesty, it is always the best idea to see Iran play in a small town, you know, a smaller city. And, you know, the stadium was really small. Not a lot of people. I knew I knew that a lot of people would not be going to this match. You know, you could just tell. And plus it was during the middle of the week as well. I remember being one of the first fans at the stadium. I was there you know, holding, here's the flag. Obviously, I'm not going to unfold it all because it's huge, but I was standing on the rock, holding the flag up really high, welcoming uh, Team Melly when they arrived on their bus. It was it was really cool. Got to shake hands with Carlos Queiroz as well. Awesome experience. And another uh, great thing about this game is that it was this day between, you know, when Iran played Montenegro, Sardar Azmoun made his debut for Iran. And you may not be able to notice it with this picture, May, you know, it may not be the best quality, but you could see Sardar Azmoun and Ali Reza Jahanbash, you know, chatting on the field, you know, prior to the match starting. And after the match, I got the opportunity to take a picture with Reza Guchanejad. And yes, he did also sign my flag. So awesome experience. The game ended 0-0. Obviously, it would have been nice to have something to cheer about in terms of a goal and all that. But getting to meet Reza Guchanejad and take a picture with him and get his autograph as well, that was worth it. Definitely well worth it. Next, two years later, I saw Iran play against Macedonia in Skopje. It was that friendly game when Sardar Azmoun scored a hat-trick. Iran won 3-1. Perfect game to go to as well. After the game, Ali Reza Baravan came over to salute the fans. He signed my flag. I got to shake hands with him. And at that time, that's when he had just signed with Paris Police. You know, he had been on, he had been playing with Naft Tehran before that. But the story didn't stop there for Macedonia. After the match, went over to the hotel where the Team Elite players were staying. And I got to take a picture with Sardar Azmoun and Saeed Ezatolahi. This was an awesome moment. Sardar Azmoun, yes, he also signed my flag. I also wished him good luck, telling him that it was very important to help Iran qualify to the World Cup for the second time in a row. And of course, that obviously did happen. You know, eventually made, they had made it three in a row. And, you know, Osmond was a nice guy. He really was. And But the funny thing about him is that he had what I consider a slight, like a tiny arrogance to him, but in a funny way. Because when I met him, I asked him, I said, hey, Sardar, do you speak English? And he said, of course. So that's basically what I wanted to share there. Next, one year later, I was working for a soccer club in Southern California, and the owner of the team was friends with a legend of Iranian football, Ahmad Reza Abidzadeh. So, of course, I got over there to that practice field as soon as possible, and I got to shake hands with Abidzadeh. Yes, he also signed my flag. So, it was an honor to shake hands with Ahmad Reza Abidzadeh, the Eagle of Asia. That's pretty much all I got to share uh, involving this flag. Like I said, I've had this flag for a long time. It's easily my favorite piece of Team Ali memorabilia. I mean, I've taken it everywhere with me. And yeah, it's been through a lot. So I uh, hope you like this story about the flag. I just also want to add that I'm ready for the 2022 World Cup. So I am going to have to wrap up this vlog in just a little bit. 
I am pretty tired. I do need to get some rest. It's going to be a very, very long flight tomorrow. In terms of what to expect from Team Ellie at the World Cup, it's going to be tough. And, you know, recently I've been going back and forth from feeling optimistic to being, you know, not so sure. But I am feeling optimistic. I think the boys will play hard. And I'm looking forward to having something to cheer about. Appreciate you all tuning in for these vlogs and looking forward to sharing more with you when I get to Qatar.